These are, ooh, wow, so cold. Hey Vogue, it's Lucy Hale here, and I'm going to recreate a modern Hollywood look, which is kind of my go-to look. Okay, so first I am going to tone my skin. For me, it's all about consistency. Oh, okay. And next, a little eye cream. Eye cream is very important, and especially if they're products with natural ingredients, you definitely wanna put them in the fridge because they can expire. So next I'm gonna do a vitamin C serum, which is something that I absolutely swear by. It's really brightening, it fades acne spots. And this one, smells like orange. When I try to avoid places that I my skin clogs, so I avoid my chin and my nose and my forehead. I'm just going to do a very light moisturizer and like one drop of face oil. And now that I have all my face stuff on, I'm gonna use my, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, my gua sha. You go up the chin, up the cheekbone, and like up on the eyebrow, up on the forehead, and you wanna push everything down, is what I've been told. It's good for lymphatic drainage, so if you're like really puffy in the morning or feel like you need to move things around on your face, this tool is really amazing. You can also pop this in the fridge and it's really cold and it'll definitely wake you up in the morning. Okay, I don't know what these are called, but they're amazing. They're like ice gloves. These are stainless steel ones, but you put them in the fridge. So I just like st stick them under my eyes. And you just wait. I will buy anything if it's related to beauty or skincare. Mainly, I'm just a sucker for anything. All right, now we're ready for makeup. Like I said, I'm breaking out a little bit, so I'm gonna put on a serum just to spot treat. Okay, and this one dries pretty clear so it can sit under makeup. I'm in between colors right now. I'm a little darker than I usually am. And we're done. No, I'm just kidding. I love like a full makeup look, but I always want skin to look really breathable. A lot of people stop with their makeup here. Definitely get under the chin and blend. When in doubt, blend. Okay, now my favorite part, concealing. I use like a creamier one under my eyes. And I kind of just draw little dots on my chin. But then I come in with a slightly darker shade. So you can use your finger, but this is my favorite little brush like a little airbrush, airbrush brush. You just buff it in. So the rule for highlighting or concealing is you wanna hit wherever the sunlight would hit you naturally, which is why I like top of the chin or forehead. So this is just a thicker concealer. The trick is to layer with a powder, like loose powder. I'm not a big powder girl because I feel like that's what really irritates my skin, but I am gonna put it on just the spots where I get super oily, which is just basically the T-zone. I'm gonna take like a very natural um, cream bronzer and just take like a, are these called kabuki brushes? And I usually bring my bronzer up, kind of on the bridge of my nose. So I'm not necessarily doing an eyeshadow look, uh, but I am gonna curl my lashes. One trick I always do is I use kind of a bronzy, this is actually a bronzer for the face, but I use this shade for my eyeshadow base. This is something I've been doing forever. I always use whatever bronzer on my face, I use it on my eyelids. Just gives me more of a sun-kissed look. Okay, so I'm going to use like matte, matte eyeshadow. I'm just gonna put that over the lid. And I'm also going to take an eyeliner brush. I still haven't mastered a winged liner look, but that is the trick. You kind of wing it up to the end of your eyebrow. So that's what I'm doing with the shadow a little bit. What do I want to do now? Oh, I know. This is like a nice gel liner. Because I have lighter eyes, I like to use brown, but you can use black. And it just makes your eyes pop. Now I'm going to take another brown liner. I'm going to just do like a tiny little wing just at the, the tip of your eye. I'm gonna go towards the edge of my brow and just carry it over a little. And then take this brush 
and kind of blend it out. You can get a beige pencil, put it on your bottom waterline, and it really makes your eyes seem open. Okay, and now we are ready for mascara. I'm a mascara girl. I just like a lot of mascara all the time. And then I have this mascara tool. So let's highlight. So I like to highlight tip of my nose, bridge of my nose, inner eye corner. It's kind of like a rose quartz color. It's very feminine and pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little blush. It's a cream blush. Really, really pretty. You see there, it's very natural. Now smile. Put it just on the apple of my cheek. Kind of carry it up the cheekbone a little bit. I don't want a lot of blush, but I think there's that. And then I'm gonna go back in with my highlighter and just highlight my cheekbone just a little. Okay, so I love brows. I like bigger, bolder, the better. Always brush up. Now I'm gonna go in with a eyebrow brush that's a little lighter than my eyebrow shade and I like a brow brush that's super tiny. Kind of like more of an ungroomed look these days too. Who's my brow crush? Lily Collins has great brows, Dua Lipa has great brows. Now I'm gonna go in with a clear brow brush with a tiny brush. Pretty much it. Now, the grand finale, lips. Very pretty lip liner. I remember growing up, I would always watch my grandmother putting on her red lipstick, which she could do without a mirror. And I always just thought she was the most beautiful human. So this is the step in your routine that you're gonna need to take time with. Okay, so I got the liner. Now I'm gonna get my lipstick. This is really matte. It feels like velvet, it's amazing. And just clean up around the top. One other thing I like to do is go in with a sponge. You can also damp the sponge and then just kind of like press everything in and blend if you need to so it looks a little more natural. I'm done, we did it. It's very old Hollywood and easy to do, but this is a look where I would wear pretty much anywhere. I don't really have anywhere to go today with this look. <laughs> Hi Vogue, it's Lucy Hale. To watch more videos, subscribe here.